The patch notes are upon us. They are here. I can hear them. I can hear the birds. Oh, we're here. The patch notes. Cree, 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 cree. Oh. oh. Miyazaki, Miyazaki, where are you? Where are you, Miyazaki? Oh, you're talking to me? Is that you over there? Miyazaki-sama. Give us the notes. Give it to us. I can't withstand this pain no longer. I need you to speak to me. Oh! <gasps> And there they are, the patch notes, Elden Ring patch notes, version 1.07. I spoiled myself a little bit. I went on Twitter because I was waiting for the patch note to be released. And uh, there's actually a bunch of huge changes for PvP, guys. This is huge. This is definitely going in the right direction that we were all hoping for. The direction in which El uh, the developers of Elden Ring do care about PvP. So let's jump right into it. Elden Ring version 1.07 blah, blah 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 blah. Added separated damage scaling for PvP. This is almost like a PvP specific focus patch. So what it means is that they are going to change some stuff from the game, but it's not going to affect PvE. So in that way, people that have fun using certain things in PvE could would not be uh, afflicted by the changes that are occurring in PvP. Okay, let's jump right into it. PvP exclusive balance adjustment. Increased stamina attack power in PvP for all attack against guarded foes. Finally, we have it. We have some serious nerf for guard. People, you know, camping behind their shield. It was super annoying. Improved poise damage in PvP for every normal attack. Except for skills and long range weapon. This is also huge. So poise is going to play a little bit less. Some weapon that are very bad. Like the daggers and flails and... Weapons like that that could be countered by just high poise are not going to be able to be countered by high poise. So poise is going to be a lot less strong. This is huge. With a few exception, exception, the power of the power of Ashes of War in PP has been lowered across the board. Lord, come on, man. That's what we need. We need the Ash of War to do less damage across the board. They were doing way too much damage. Some Ashes of War were way too free. Like the Moonvale Ash of War, for example, or the Thunderbolt Ash of War. The power of the following incantation in PvP has been decreased. Dragonfire, Aegis Flame, Glinstone, all the dragon spells are going to do a lot less damage in PvP. I mean, they are probably watching G9's video, right? General balance adjustment. Adjustment in this section affect both PvE and PvP aspect of the game. So the, the changes that we talked about earlier were only for PvP. Increase poise damage when using two-handed no more attack. Increase the speed of some colossal sword attack. So basically what they did also, they did nerf the crouching attack, so the crouching R1 is a lot slower, but they've buffed the move of the Colossal Sword overalls, which is great, great. Increase the speed of some Colossal attack, decrease recovery time for Colossal Sword and Colossal Weapon, except for jumping attack, dual wheel attack, and attack while riding. So basically, you are going to be able to roll out of uh, swinging your weapon much faster than you were before. So Colossal Sword are still going to be good, but they're not going to be this ultimate ultimate tool with absurd amount of range and, and super easy, uh, uh, hard to read, especially when you combine it with the wave, wave dashing, with the crouch cancel. Increase poise damage of hammers, great hammers and some Colossal Weapon, yes! Increase guard penetration of the following weapons, Celebrant Sickle, Nox Flowing Sword, Shoto, Eclipse Shoto, Volga Militia Shoto, Scythe, Grave Scythe, Halo Scythe, Winged Scythe. All those weapons are going to do much more damage if someone is camping behind the shield. They are nerfing the shield's play style overhaul and this is huge. The poise rating of some attack has been increased of the following weapon. Great Sword, do more poise attack. Colossal Sword, Curved Great Sword, Great Act, everything is just going to, poise is going to be a lot less relevant, which is great, which is great, that's what we want. With some exce exception, poise of all armor has been increased, what this means, it means that you're going to be able to wear much uh, cool armor sets, even if they have lower poise, because poise is going to matter a lot less, all the tests that has been done about poise. 
boys need all to be revised. That's why it's so painful to see all these people doing so much work on, you know, poise damage. This work is almost, is, is going to the garbage now. Uh, with some exception, poise of armor has been increased, the effect of great shield talisman and hammer talisman have been increased, some effect of the spell scorer shield and barricade shield skill and their shield grease item have been adjusted as follows, the effect on shield with low guard boost has been adjusted upward, the effect on shield with high guard boost have been adjusted downward. So basically, there are, like if you have a shield that has a low Oh, it just explained by itself. Basically, they are balancing it, making it a lot more uh, fair across the board. The guard strength of the fingerprint sh stone shell has been decreased. Fuck you, fingerprint user. Get fucked, eat a dick. Go fuck yourself. Now you cannot crouch. Crutch? Now you cannot crouch on the fingerprint stone shell. Decrease the status buildup done by dual wield weapon. Mm beautiful so basically cross naginata is going to be less strong a uh, saint trinasaur is going to be less strong vike spear is going to be less strong a uh, rotten crystal spear are going to be less strong which is a shame i like them but it's good overall it's good because like the dual uh, slip sword were absurd balance adjustment for magic and incantation so get ready there's a bunch of things here glintstone pebble uh, increased attack power Gingsle Pebble, Short Spiral, Lightning Spear, Flaming Sling, Increased Attack Power and when charged. Rejection, Warf of God, Black Flame, Increased Stamina Attack Power against Guarded Enemy. Beautiful, so this is going to be a great tool for countering shield. I mean, we just have a lot more options in order to counter shield. Crystal Burst, Triple Ring of Light, Increased Casting Speed, great. So, I mean, great. They were not, those are, those are spells that were not super good that now can be viable. And that's exactly what the game needed right now. There isn't a, a many things that really needed to be nerfed, like Crouch Bolt needed to be nerfed, Shields needed to be nerfed, a couple of things like that needed to be nerfed. And we're probably gonna find some other things to complain about, right? But what we needed is other stuff to get buffed. Like we need Great Soul to get buffed. We need certain, um, Ash of War to get buff, we need certain spells to get buff. That's ex exactly what's happening here. Assassin Approach, Law of Casualty, Extended Effect Time, great. Law of Casualty was great. Assassin Approach was super ha useless. Now maybe it's going to be a fun tool. Glintstone, Ice Grag, Freezing Mist, Frozen Armament, Increased Frost Bite Status Buildup, beautiful. Poison Mist, Poison Armament, Increased Poison Status Buildup. Then we have a bunch of Ashes War, Decreased FD Consumption. Okay, so many Ash of War, Aglingstone like Arc, Glintstone Phalanx, Carrion Phalanx, Great Blade Phalanx, Magic Downpour, Loretta's Great Bow, Loretta's Master, Renala's Full Moon, Rani's Blah Blah Blah, Unseen Blade, Rolling Magma, Records Ranker, Darkness, Elden Star, Lightning Strike, Lance X Glaive, Death Lightning, Giant's Flame D, Bloodfly and Talon, Endurable Frenzy, Grero's Roll, Decreased FP Consumption. Yeah, some of these spells and Ashes of War were just consuming too much FP. Glintstone Star, Magma Shot, Blood Boon, Decrease FP Consumption and Increase Attack Power, beautiful. Although I think Blood Boon need a bit more than that. Aspect of the Crucible Tail, Aspect of the Crucible Horror, Ancient Dragon Lightning Spears, 46 Lightning Spear, Decrease FP Consumption, Increase Stamina Attack Power. Uh, actually what those need is maybe some more speed to their cats, ca casting speed, I, I, more than, um, than FP Consumption. Uh, but yeah, why not? I mean, now they are going to, uh, and also the requirement, they require way too much faith, in my opinion. Glintstone, Comet Shard, Comet, Comet, Cannon of Haima, Carrying Great Sword, Decreased FP Consumption, Increased Attack Power of Stamina, Attack Power against Guarded Enemies, Rancor Core, Ancient Death Rancor, Decreased FP Consumption, Extended the Lifetime of All Vengeful Spirits, Briar of Sins, Briar of Punishment, decrease the FP consumption and increase the blood loss status buildup on enemies, increase casting speed. Uh, yeah, those those spells were super bad. I mean, it's great that they are what they need is to cast faster. Gavel of Haima, reduce FP and stamina consumption, increase stamina attack power against guard and the power of the hammer portion of the attack. Shattered Earth, reduce FP consumption, increase poise damage and stamina attack power against guards, uh, increase certain portion of the spell hitbox and shorten recovery time. Sure, I mean, we gotta try to see what it looks like. Rock Blaster, reduce FP consumption, increase poison and stamina attack against guards, increase certain portion of the spell's hitbox. I'm not too sure what was the Rock Blaster thing, uh, but yeah. Starlight 
reduce FP consumption and extend the duration effect. Stars of Ruin reduce FP and stamina consumption increase power when charged. Okay, Stars of Ruin got a little buff. Fighting Reigns of Stars reduce FP and stamina consumption. You see how much they went into the into every incantation they were like uh, spell and they were like, okay, we're going to adjust some little things here and there. They do care. Founding Reigns of Stars reduce FP and stamina consumption short of the time before damage is dealt. Uh, extend the range of the star's ring. Magic Clean Blade. Increase poise damage. Attack power and stamina attack power against guarded enemies when charged. Carrion Piercer. Reduce the consumption. Increase attack power and stamina attack power against guarded enemies. Shorten the recovery time. So those attacks are going to be a bit better. Uh, Adula's Moon Blade. Reduce the consumption. Increase stamina attack power or frostbite build up against guarded yeah, I don't know if Adula's Moonblade needed any buff. Gale means Fury, reduce FP consumption and increase attack power, increase gas XP and shorten recovery time, adjust the direction of the lava projectile to make it easier to hit enemies located in front of the spell. I, I, don't, I have no idea what Gale means Fury is. <laughs> increase the damage dealt by the first part of the spell and greatly increase the ability to stagger enemy. Zamor Ice Storm. Increase attack power of the frostbite build up, increase casting speed and shorten recovery time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Shattering Crystal. Just having and stamina consumption, increase poise damage, stamina attack, power against guarded enemies, increase power when charged, increase casting speed. Crystal release, reduce enemy consumption, poise damage, stamina attack, uh, increase casting speed, shorten recovery time, increase attack range, increase the poise, increase timing during it activation. Oracle bubble, great. Oh, I mean, there's so much, guys. There's so much. Chibia summon. Uh, this case of and some of them I have no fucking idea what they are. Frozen lightning spears reduce FP consumption and increase the frost bite status builder. I mean, what this needs is just the, the the. I mean, maybe the speed. I don't know. Frozen lightning spear could be a super good spell, but it's just so bad right now. Flame of the Fell God reduce FP consumption, increase stamina attack power against guarded enemy, increase attack power on charge, shorten damage detection detection time of residual fire. Play while all frame. Re that was one of the first spells I got actually. Increase stamina attack power against guarded enemy. Increase ability to stagger enemies. Wow. Burn all flame. Reduce the consumption. Shorten the time it takes for a flame pillar to be generated. Beautiful. Scourging black flame. Noble presence. Increase stamina consumption. What? Increase stamina consumption and increase stamina attack power against guarded enemy? Oh, that sucks. Shorten recovery time. So you're going to be able to use it much faster. But I like Noble Presence, I think it was a cool spell, it didn't need any increase in stamina consumption. I mean, that's alright though, it, they increase the recovery time. Beast Claw increased the range of the Shock Wave, nice. Curing Beast Claw, added a hitbox. Ah, oh, that's so cool, increased the range of the Shock Wave, so the Shock Wave is going to travel much faster. Added a hitbox to the first part of the spell, increased attack power when charged. Stone of Goring increased stamina consumption, increased attack power and stamina attack power against guarded enemies. Extended the impact area of projectile. Okay, so Stone of Goring is going to be much better. Scarlet Aeonia, that was so bad. Reduce FP consumption, re attack power, increased attack power, poise damage and stamina attack when people are guarding. Landing attack range has been increased and its recovery time decreased. Okay, beautiful. Adjust the poise increase timing during activation. Yeah, I think it need also an increase in um, in uh, how it's called uh, in in casting speed. To be honest, frenzied bird increased poise damage and attack power when charged. Uh, I don't know if frenzied bird needed needed a buff. How of Shabriri extend the duration of the effect. Uh, Inescapable frenzy, dragon claw, reduce FP consumption, increase stamina, attack power, and guarding enemy. Dragon Moan, reduce have been consumption. Uh, okay, so those two dragon spells were pretty bad and now they are going to be a bit better. The hitbox around Dragon's neck area has been enlarged to make it easier to hit enemy at close range. Okay, and now we have one of my favorites. Upward and downward adjustment. Black Blade, reduce stamina consumption, improve tuning performance and shorten recovery time. The sword and the wave attack have been changed so that they hit at the same time. Attack power, stamina attack power and poise damage of each part have been... Oh, why? Why did you decrease the damage? It was not doing that much damage, to be honest. Decrease the number of times the wave part hits larger enemy. Oh, that sucks. We have a, an example here. 
of the speed of the Black Blade. It doesn't seem to have a um, follow-up anymore, there used to be a follow-up, but it's still pretty slow, honestly. I mean, you should keep the damage, like, it's still going to be hard to be to be landed. Bestial Sling reduces the Stone Fragment Scatter Randomness, scatter so it's more precise where it's going to land. Increase Stamina Attack Power against Guarded Enemies. Reduce between two hits the adjustment... The de Reduce between two hits and the adjusted the de and adjusted the detection so that two hits are always made at close range. Decrease poise damage. Great, they need it. I mean, Bestial Sing was just way too good. It was probably one of the best spells in the game. Downward adjustment. Rotten Breath is like decay reduce Scarlet Prostate. Yes, if you get hit once by Rotten Breath, is like decay. You're you're you know you're uh, you're rotted. Balance adjustment of skills. Upward adjustment, Glintstone Pebble, Surge of Fate, Gold Breaker, Regal, Beast Claw, Nebula, and increased attack power. Ah, uh, alright. Sword Dance, Vow of the Indomitable, Echoes a Dancing Blade, reduce the delay between the end of various actions such as using item or attack animation and being able to perform the skill. Okay, so you're going to be able to attack and then to use the... Ah, oh, so Sword Dance is going to be sick. Oh. Maybe a bit too good. Sacred Order, Shared Order, Soul Stifler, Knowledge above all, Barricade Shield extending the effect time, sure. Taker's Flame, added damage detection, and Mikala's Ring of Light, attack detection to the weapon art. Mm. Not too sure what this means, but I guess it's good that they are getting buff. Powerful Strike, Great Serpent Hunt, increased power and poise damage. Oh, I see what Prayer Strike is. So yeah, so we have a lot of options to break shields now. Wild Strike, Spinning Strike, Shorten the time between various action and activation of skills. Psyche, Increase Attack Power. I don't know about... Uh, I think Spinning Strike was the worst one of the two. Ground Slime, Golden Slam, Earth Tree Slam. Reduce the time between using the skill and being able to roll. Increase Attack Power. Beautiful. Uh, those attack... Basically, if you use Ground Slime or Golden Slam or any of those, you were just stuck in place and too easy to get hit. Now, maybe, you know, people are going to kill you while smacking their butt to their to your face, which some people might like it. Stamp, upward cut, stamp, sweep. Reduce the delay between end of various actions, so you're going to be full attack and use the stamp right after. Increase attack power, okay. Reduce the timing between the end of the skill and performing action other than the strong attack. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. Impelling Trust, yeah, this this one is terrible. Increase motion speed and attack power, beautiful. Reduce the delay between the end of various, various actions, such as using item, being able to perform the skill. So again, you're going to be able to uh, use your Ash of War out of attacking much faster. Reduce the timing between the end of the skill and being able to attack and to roll. Piercing Fang, which is one of great to, of the great tool against um, shield, but unfortunately it's too slow. Increase motion speed, attack power, and poise damage. There we go. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions, such as using items or attack animation, and being able to perform the skill. Reduce the timing between the end. Of, so yeah, basically, person thing is going to be coming out much faster. Spinning slash increase the poise damage against enemy. With the following weapon, great sword. Okay, so spin. Oh, you can use spinning slash and great sword. I didn't even know. Um, cool, so spinning slash, spinning slash, a great tool against poise. Charge fourth, increase the direction control and motion speed. Oh, reduce the delay between the end of various actions, such as using items and attack animation, being able to perform this kill. It's great, guys, because now we have a lot more uh, Ash of War that are going to be good, which is fucking awesome. Blood tax, increase motion speed and attack power, increase HP deprivation effect. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions. I don't even know what blood tax is to be 100% honest with you guys. Repeating thrust. Increase motion speed. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions such as using items or attack animation being able to perform this kill. Giant hunt. Uh, increase poise damage. I mean, wasn't it doing like 100 <laughs> so much poise damage? Reduce the delay between... Okay, so again, you're going to be able to do Giant Hunt out of attacking much faster. Loretta Slash, increase poise damage. Ugh. Reduce the delay between the... Yeah, but Loretta Slash is... The problem is that it doesn't combo. Uh, it's just not great in my opinion. But we'll see. Maybe this buff is making it much better. Poison Moth 
fight, flight. Increase poison stat in build-up, increase the duration of damage poison, increase the delay between the end. Okay, again, you got Storm Caller, increase motion speed, attack power, and poise damage, increase skill size. Ooh, we actually have a video of this right here. We can see Storm Caller, uh, the buff it got. So basically, we don't see it in the PvP interaction, but we see it just here that it comes out pretty, pretty fast uh, because it used to be pretty slow. It used to go like, oh, 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 right? It goes like almost two times faster. So yeah, this Ash of War is super cool, it looks awesome, it was a shame that it was not uh, receiving much more love, but yeah, we'll see. Sacred Blade, increase motion speed and range of the blade, uh, increase, okay that's good. Uh, Sacred Blade is the Ash of War where you're doing your, um, your Ash of War while you're turning your weapon yellow and you throw like a little uh, yellow holy damage thingy projectile. Added damage detection to the weapon art, increased effect duration attack power that gives the weapon holy power. Okay, good, beautiful. Bloody Slash, increased the duration status, the, in the status build up and attack power, reduce the delay between, okay, beautiful, Bloody Slash got a little buff. Life Steel Fist, increase. I think Fist Weapon needs a buff, overall. Increase motion speed and attack power, increase attack range against other players, reduce the delay between the end of various actions. Eruption, increased damage, uh, so yeah, life seal feels maybe now it's going to be a, you're going to be able to land it much faster, much easier. Eruption uh, increase the range and duration of lava. Added a hitbox to the part of the attack where the weapon is slammed. Fix the timing of poise increase during activation. So eruption got a little buff. Gravitas, yeah, this is not this is just bad gravitas. Storm blade, storm blade. So this is where you throw like a little wind. Increase motion speed and range of the blade. Beautiful. Added damage. Detection to the weapon art. I don't know what that means. Reduce the delay. Okay, again, you're going to be able to do Stormblade out of attack much faster. Flaming Strike. Increase attack power. Flaming Strike did not need a buff. Increase duration and attack power. Okay, so you're gonna, going to have your weapon on fire much longer. Reduce the... Oh, man. Flaming Strike was already too good. It's just going to be even better now. Lightning Slash. That's something that sucked but needed a buff. Increase the duration of attack by going through lightning. Reduce delay. Reduce delay between using the skin and being able to attack. So yeah, Lightning Strike strike might be much better. Vacuum Slice. Or maybe I'm... No, no, yeah. Vacuum Slice. Increase the motion speed and range of the blade. Yeah, I think this needs... Ah, uh, yeah, it needs a speed bar. Well, now we have a speed. Maybe it's much, much better. Sacred Ring of Light, increase range and speed of the projectile, Allo have been increased. Added damage detection to the weapon art. Mm, Blood Blade, increase power, added damage detection to the weapon art. Reduce the delay between various action. Uh, yeah, Blood Blade was, was alright, I guess. Phantoms, yeah, Phantom Slash needed a buff, improve detection, directional control, nice. And reduce the delay where you can roll and attack. Spectral Lens, increase attack power, reduce long range damage fall off. Okay, pretty good. Chilling Mist, increase motion speed, duration of the frostbite effect has been increased. Poison Mist, same thing. Shield Bash, uh, increase stamina attack power against guard enemy. Nice, enchanted, enhanced shot. Enchanted shot? I think it's enhanced shot, they made a mistake. Increased arrow speed, beautiful! Enhanced shot was one of, uh, one of my favorite Ash of War to run on a regular bow. Now it's just going to be even better. Cool. Kick. Increase poise damage and stamina against guarding enemies. Finally, thank you. That should have been done a long time ago, but better late than never. Crack blade and extend effect duration. Increase attack power, poise damage, stamina, attack power against guarded enemies. War cry. Extended. Extended effect duration reduces delay between various actions. Power of strong attack during the duration has been increased when using the following weapons. So yeah, war cry might be a little bit better. Trolls Roar, increase attack power, fix the timing of the poise, yeah, oh, so basically you're going to have quote unquote hyper armor faster when you're us using Trolls Roar. Ragat's Roar, I'm not sure what this is, maybe it's the better Troll Roar. Increase the, dura the duration of the effect, increase attack power, defense and stamina recovery speed. Ender, extend the effect duration, beautiful, I did the effect that prevents stagger, caused by blood, loss and frost, oh la la, amazing. So now Endure is going to be very usable, Very, it's a very true good Ash of War. Extend the effect duration, 
they put two times the XMD effect duration. Reduce the time between skill activation, being able to perform action, other than attacking. Oh, so you cannot just like spam it and then attack right away. It's, there's still going to be a, a bit of delay. Holy Ground increase FP recovery, reduce FP consumption, Raptor of the Mist, Flame Speed, I don't know, Raptor of the Mist was just good as it is. Tongue of Fire, reduce stamina consumptions, Great Oracular Bubble, extend the amount of time that the large bubble stays in place, tracking performance and long range have been improved. Viper Bite, increase attack power and poison buildup, extend poison effect and increase damage caused by poison. Moonlight Great Sword, reduce stamina consumption for strong and charged attack. Added, yeah, but what they need is just to be faster. Moonlight Great Sword is too slow. And it's a great sword, which sucks by definition. Um, Siluria's Vow, increase motion speed, added damage detection, projectile now penetrates enemy, and some object when charged. Reduvia. Blood, blood blade oh yeah so that's the blood blade but of uh, reduvia so it's basically the same change glintstone dart night and flame stance increases attack power direction may be adjusted the damage detection renews gas flame increase the duration attack power poise damage um wolf assault increase poise during casting i don't know the problem with wolf assault is that It's too slow, I think. Uh, Spear Core Ritual, Thundercloud Form, Increased Directional Control, Ragor, Roar, Extend Effect Duration, Blade, de Blade of Death, Increase the Effect Duration and Reduce Maximum HP. Oh, okay, so that's, um, that's the Ash of War of the... Uh, the new man who killed Marika. I forgot. This in Death, Increase Motion Speed. We have a video of this, actually. And there it is. So basically it's much faster, much, much faster. And probably the 10% damage reduction on enemies is also increased. The time on it is increased. But that's it's great because they, they nerfed Colossal Sword, but they buffed it at the same time. They nerfed what was really broken about it, and they buffed what was really bad about it. So that's awesome. I think um, Malikat Black, Black Blade deserve even much more than that. But it's already good. Alabaster Sword, Lord's Pool, increased attack power, increased poise. During casting, Onyx Lord Repulsion, increased repelling effect power, increased poise during casting. So this is probably going to be a fun thing to do, maybe to, you know, um, uh, throw people off ledges. Oath of Revenge, extend effect, added a, an effect that prevents dagger caused by blood loss and frostbite at this effect. Ice Lightning sto Sword, that's the Ash of War from the Dragon Scale Blade, one, one of the coolest weapon, but also one of the worst. It looks good, but it's pretty bad. Ice Lightning Sword. Increase weapon attack power. Okay, increase duration attack power and effect rank to the weapon. Re reduce the time. Okay, well, it's basically the same as a uh, Lightning Sword. Yeah, not too great. This, ash I mean, what they need to do is really buff the weapon. The, 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 the weapon should have a status effect, like maybe Frostbite or Bleed. But as it is, it's just one of the worst katana. Claw Flick. Increase attack power. Increase poise damage of the expansion, gold tempering, added the timing, I don't even know what gold tempering is, last rites, and blockable blade, increased motion speed, nice, Loretta slash on Loretta's war sickle, increased attack power, increased damage, okay, it's the same as the Loretta, that's the problem also of Loretta slash, because Loretta slash is supposed to be an ash of war that's special, but you can, like, it's so dumb, like, Loretta's war sickle is just such a bad weapon, in my opinion, of course. Course wax cutter, reduce effect consumption, infringe motion speed, nice, 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 nice. Zamor Ice Storm, increase attack power, increase attack power of the weapon art. I think Zamor Ice Storm needs to come a little bit faster also. Dynasty's Finis, the directional control of the follow up strong attack has been improved. Mm, Alright. Death Lair, increase the duration and attack power of the effect that grants the weapon a holy attribute. Magma Guillotine, Corpse Pilot, like increase attack power, nice. They rebuffed a little bit. Um, River of Blood. Blood Blade Dance. Added damage detection made immediate, immediately after activating the skills. Devouring of War. Increased poise damage. Familiar Rancor. Uh, wait, what is Blood Blade Dance? Mm, not sure what this is. 
From your ranker, increase. Oh, yeah, that's the. It's it's uh it's the Ash of War of a weapon that no one even knows about. It's a flare. That's a magic flare. Ross is summon increased motion speed. Thunderstorm increase motion speed. Increase the duration and attack power of the effect that grants the weapon to the lightning attribute. What? I don't even. Oh yeah, that's the Ash of War from the um, the X. Unblockable blade reduce attack power. Reduce the time between the skill, beautiful. Ordovix Vortex, we actually have a video of this. And here it is, you can see it. Ordovix uh, attack comes out much, much, much faster, as you can see here. Oh la la, it looks sexy as hell. Uh, this weapon is finally going to be good. Uh, I love it. I think it's great that they buffed it. This weapon really needed a buff. Attack, motion speed, attack power, increase poise during casting, reduce the delay between various actions. Upward and downward adjustment. We're almost there, guys. Barbaric roar, extending the effect duration. Decreases the time between using this game performing various action. Increase strong attack power with claws and fist weapon. Ah, oh, cool. So they are buffing fist weapon if you're using barbaric roar. Reduce strong attack power when used with twin blade. During the effect uh, downward adjustment. Shield crash. Reduce the amount of status buildup when used with a weapon that have status effects. Seppuku, increase damage taken upon activation, reduce the blitz startup, beautiful, thank you, Seppuku user, eat a dick, go fuck yourselves. Blood bone ritual, reduce the range of the damage animation triggers on other player, damage is unchanged. Bug fixes, added a process to remove the Ash of War from weapon that cannot normally be combined with certain Ash of War. I'm not sure what this means. Basically, maybe some people were able to put Ash of War on weapon that shouldn't have this Ash of War. Oh, I think that's how people were able to use uh, Storm Stomp on some Curse Sword. Fix a bug that prevented user from obtaining items such as Great Runes, Crystal Tear, Crack Pot. Fix the bug that prevent user from obtaining Crystal Tear if you fail to obtain Crystal Tear. No, no, no. Adjust adjusted player character control when under certain damage animation. Fix the bug that prevent charging some incantation while casting them with left hand and sacred seal in midair. Okay, cool. So some attack that couldn't be uh, used when jumping now are going to be able to be used when jumping. Fix the bug that prevented forming a normal attack from dash immediately after landing a jump when a weapon is two-handed. Okay. Fix the bug where various action input were ignored when changing weapon while moving. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Corrected the description of the colossal sword physical. Attack attribute, fix the bug where the timing to change the attack direction was narrower than expected on some attack with great axes. Fix the bug where the attack direction could not be changed when performing a charge attack with the ruined greatsword. Oh, okay. Fix the bug where the highland axe effect was not applied to the skill shriek axe of Milos. Sh shriek. Skill Shriek of Milos. Fix the bug where the effect of the Warrior Jar Shard and the Shard of Alexander were not applied to the Skill Sorcerer of the Crozer. Fix the bug where the effect of the Raw Medallion was not applied to the regular Raw Ring. Fix the bug where the Skill Viper Bite could not be inflicted poison instead of Deadly Poison. Fix the bug where the range of one of the three rocks was longer than expected was because the Spell Rocks Sling. It was le Left Hand Staff. Oh, okay, I see which one it is. Fix the bug where recovery time after casting Beast's Claw could not be shortened by magic incantations. Some stuff I don't really understand, guys, what I'm reading, I'm gonna be honest. Fix the bug where uh, when attacking an enemy, I think they, can, they don't even understand it because they are translating it from Japanese and probably the people translating this don't really play the game. <laughs> Fix the bug where when attacking an enemy who cannot be grabbed by the incantation, escape all frenzy, the attack will be repelled if the enemy is handing a weapon. Fix the bug where HP or FP could be recovered when charged. Shinji Gupin, certain type of power. Yeah, apparently there was a bug where you could regain some FP using like a like a, a glitch. Fix the bug that could cause death and result in the player becoming stuck in some location that sucks balls. Fix some terrain bug that allows user to reach unexpected location with certain procedure. I think that's what some people are using to steal AFK form. Fix the bug where the rendering and collision detection of some maps were different from expected. Fix the bug where bolts fired with the hand ballista weapon missed the lock on target when the game was running at a frame rate below at a certain level. Fix the bug that could prevent online multiplayer from working properly on the PS4. Uh, what about the PC problem that we have? I don't know, I'm just saying. 
And there it is. That's the end. We made it. And there we go, guys. That was the end of this very, very long TWAP. Too long TWAP, to be honest. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Basically, to make a quick summarize, we have nerf that needed to be nerfed. We have shield, uh, you know, hiding behind the shield is being nerfed. We have status buildup is being nerfed. Uh, with the two hidden weapon, that was the problem with the bike spear, with the uh, sentry and sword. We have some Ash of War and spells that were better that got buffed a little bit. We got some that were too good, like the Dragon Breast spell that got, you know, brought down a little bit. And that's exactly what we needed. Um, yeah. FromSoft and Bandai and Namco are killing it, making the game better and better every month. I mean, every we have a patch, what, every two months now? The last one was on the 8th of August, so two months and some weeks ago, so a week ago, something like that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. It was Valentin, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.